Six on the dot. Six on the dot. All right. For January 4th, 2022. Our agenda tonight in the public forum. We have one appointment and new business, the common victuals licenses, review and approval of Article 97 legislation um, for uh, the 113 project. And then in executive session pursuant to the Mass General Law. Chapter 30A, 21A, Clause 6, Real Estate Negotiations for the Town Common Land and Potential Transfer to the Evangelical Church. Um, business report, and then one set of minutes from December 14, 2021. Uh, once we went to executive session, we uh, will not be returning back to the public. Anybody in the public? We have I just want to report that, you know, so with, with this. Uh, the subject in COVID cases. Yeah. Uh, James Garifain, who's the director of the show Board of Health, has reached out to me. And I'm not sure if you guys have got this message yet or not, but they've stopped giving us per DPH, they've stopped giving us addresses and any sort of insight as to what we have in town for active cases. Okay. So I haven't been able to disseminate any of that information. I don't really know what's going on. I reached out to Jim to get some guidance as far as our internal employees that have COVID and to get some guidelines as far as quarantining and how long to stay out and, and all those sorts of things. But I think the most important thing is currently, we're not really sure how many people in town have it and or where those residences are. So, you know, I've been struck with my department. I talked to the fire chief today that you know, we'll be very careful as far as our responses. And we're back to our protocol that we had that during the last surge. Okay. So just just as I, I think the state is retooling the narrative on how they report the cases so they can <clears> emphasize <throat> the positive instead of the negative. Right. Yeah, it's been a lot of changes. I think that's the five day quarantine. It's you know, I think the other variant too is it's much less severe than our prior ones off the respiratory, it's yeah. more nose, cough, sore throat. So quell the fear. <laughs> yeah, quell the fears. I've already Jesus, we need to go through the in a row. Those folks, yeah. have they come to any recommendations on, like, I know the first round of vaccination is not required. Yeah. Is there a second level, a booster, whatever they call it, that being so, required to be discussed? So we haven't mandated or, or requested, so we've never mandated the vaccine. We were actually very fortunate that everybody inside of my organization ended up getting the vaccination, and they also think, so I'm pretty sure everybody inside, unless they got the J&J, I've got two shots. Okay. Uh, I haven't mandated the booster. Uh, I was fortunate to have spent some time last week with some of the hospitals and doctors and things like that at the dinner. And some of the information that I was getting is so the booster is really only good for 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. Not that that would be fantastic for this month because we think this is going to be the crunch. I yeah. understand that. Um, so I've not mandated the booster. But we've also been fortunate. Like I currently have one guy out with COVID. Okay. Um, and he's not that sick. So, you know, we're still still paying for some testing for people that think if they have signs and symptoms, we definitely need Brian had this conversation today. You know, we get them tested. We, you know, we try to do everything we can to limit any sort of infection. We are under the guidelines of the show, but this is why I called you for me. We are still required to come to work even if we're exposed, unless mm -hmm. we have signs and symptoms. But so far, so good. We are, everybody's masking up in the station. We have a special machine that we uh, decontaminate our cars with. Or something like that. So yeah. I think we're pretty chill. I mean, if I could afford to test people internally with a home test once a week, I would. But you know, getting the test is honestly awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then you know, performing that act is also difficult. I think with I think our guys are pretty responsible. So far, what we've done it is through all of this, we've only had one infection. So out of you know, 15 people in, in an ad, which is 16. I think we're, we're doing okay. So it's, I think, a pretty low percentage. And Nick, you know, the guy that has gold will be back on Wednesday. So okay. we're going on a five day quarantine. There's no signs of symptoms. Come back to work. He has to make, wear a mask all the time. Who's getting boosted the natural? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we might have to do that. Yeah. 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 
So when I continue to provide testing, if we want testing and there's an exposure, then you know, we obviously wait the appropriate amount of time to get them tested. Trinity has been an amazing partner. They have, I called Trinity, I called Trinity today to get a guy tested at two o'clock. I called him at one, no problem. Okay. Down to test the guy out of the way. So we get the results for 24 hours. It's tricky, I think. There's value in continuing our mass and testing is a large topic of the federal government and trying to figure out what to do there. And, I mean, and really, you know, I think like honestly, like I'm testing simply to protect the organization. You know, but but even if somebody comes in COVID post uh, positive, my hope is that the the precautions that we're exercising will protect everybody. You know, just wear a mask. And I think that that really is helpful. You know, keep your distance, don't eat together, nobody shares a car, we do share a car. It's, we have this machine that's raised like a um, bleach mist throughout the entire car and soon it work really well. You know, our bathrooms, if you use the bathroom, sanitize, wash your hands. Yeah. You know, and our shifts are such that nobody really has desks together. And you know, and Liz is isolated inside of her office. So, so far, so good. Maybe the spring will be better that outside. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> I don't know, Nick. Fingers crossed. Yeah. You know, anything could happen tomorrow, but so far, so good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Don't forget to we're in the public forum. Do you have anything? Oh, oh, just yeah. coming to say Happy New Year. Sure. Yeah. Checking on me. Happy New Year. <laughs> so, you know what? I had a question. I see some uh, work being done down on uh, Cobra Brook. Yes. I wonder what's going on down there. Yes. He is repairing a wall that the highway department wiped out years ago. He's already been to the Conservation Commission to work on that. He has a road control in, he's working on it, we're aware of it. Uh, it's going to be uh, much better than this because it all collapsed into the stream and what and everything else. So he's offered to fix that. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, also, I wanted to uh, uh, ask apparently there was a problem with the, the well, one of the town wells. What's uh, well, one was having an issue, and there was an electrical fault. I think yeah. last Thursday afternoon, and they, they switched over to the other well and they diagnose what the problem is and, and make repairs. So hopefully more information about that in the next day or two. So it's all it's it's working. It's yeah. all fixed. It's not permanently fixed, but it's as a temporary <laughs> solution. Yeah. All right. I just I saw talk about it, but nobody yeah. really had a you know no. had an explanation. I mean, my my question is why didn't the why didn't the well uh, the, the tower pick up the pressure? Because there was a pressure problem which made us aware that there was something working with the well. So I haven't had a chance to, to get into it with the Swiss to determine okay, so why do we have a pressure problem? Because we have a tank. Yeah. So the so tank we, should have picked uh, up the pressure. We need to get we need to get right on the engineer's tail of this, okay? Because this is what happened, right? It was an it was a commission document that was written. Yeah. And they were supposed to do check, 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 yeah. check, check, and that was one of the checks. We did that. Okay. Did and so, is it, uh, are we outside of the warranty? No. So, so. so, if we're not outside of the warranty, it's going to go back to the crib. Right? We're, we're going to figure out what the nature of the problem okay. is. But yes, that's, fine. that's a good thing. Good. Anything else? Yeah. All right. We will move from the public forum to the appointments. We have one appointment uh, for the town accountant. Um, looking to renew the contract for Lisa Kelly. Did we do that last week? You, you renewed the contract, yeah, but we just did a formality. We'll still give her a okay. Okay. So. okay. Um, so, assuming everybody's still on board, is there a motion to appoint Lisa Kelly as our town accountant for the next town year? So, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. New business, the common victuallers licenses. We have three. One is for the farmhouse cafe, one for Dunkin' Donuts, and one for the Dunstable Gas and Convenience Store. Yes, these particular licenses are needed by entities that serve food, which is not prepackaged. Okay. So Board of Health does the paperwork. They work with Bridget Braley, uh, the Neshoba agent. They've provided us copies of that paperwork, so they should be set for this. Okay. For those who are sitting at home, it's not alcohol. It's just 
as Jay said, right, right. not yeah. prepackaged food. Exactly. So like your donut, <laughs> your donut and Dunkin' Donuts is not prepackaged. So we're working on it. Yeah. yeah. Some people watching it watch us at home. Yeah. So your donut and Dunkin' Donuts, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. All right. Are there any questions, concerns, or motion to sign all three of these? So I move that we execute the common victimless documents for Dunkin' Donuts, General Store, and the Farmhouse Cafe. So moved. Second. So. Yeah, all in favor. Aye. Aye. What's the odds in there? They sound good. They sound good. They sound good. They sound good. Right, I was back with some of these tracks. Yes. And all this, we all signed? Yes, yes. We had that, we had that happen one time. There was a, a lobster truck that overturned on 395. And the restaurant owner ran out there. Scooped up all the lobsters off the side oh, of the right. and was selling them off the back door of his restaurant. <laughs> it turned into a, of course, turned into an enforcement issue with the health department. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to put lobsters to throw away. Just imagine you're just going to run away. It's too dry in the woods. I mean, they're already out of salt water. That's going to be a good use. Anything about that? Okay, next up, we do approval of Article 97 legislation known as 18936, that's for a post and for review by the new state senate for the new 113 transportation improvement projects. Yeah, so this is like the second to the last step of this legislation. Uh, it's been addressed in the House, they made some, Senate Council made some minor changes that are compatible uh, with our needs. Yeah. And so once they have this certification, they can take the time to roll call vote. But let me just need to sign it. So we should be correcting course here on some issues. And uh, is there for a the benefit of folks that weren't here at the last meeting, uh, DOT extended the bid date so that we can get this done. So yeah. the new bid date is January 21st. So uh, um, I thought I saw one on the so you just your vote tonight is to um, approve the changes. That's the thing. Did you all read those? Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad it's getting near the finish line. It's only taking you how many years of your life to get this written? Yeah. <laughs> it's a ridiculous number of phone calls and emails and et cetera. Yeah. All right. First. So yeah. is there a document that's going to get signed by us? There's a, a certification vote that uh, I think Leah needs to sign and Carol needs to certify when she comes back. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it's just Carol. I don't know that. Okay. But she'll certify that the vote. So I'm going to move that we ratify and approve the Article 97 legislation as passed by Massachusetts. House. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Fingers crossed. Okay, good. Does this mean that, that this project is finally going to move forward? Don't think so. Yeah, God <laughs> will. <laughs> you got to kick some wood over there, John. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. That's the plan. Cool. All right. Um, so before we close the public hearing and jump into executive session, we move one set of minutes from December 14th, 2021. Is there a motion to approve? I got a think Ron May different. Did you hear that one? Is that the one? No, I was here. Oh, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. I'm good with that. Okay, make a motion to approve December 14th, 2021 minutes. Second. Yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. We'll stay off the stage. No problem. Um, all right. All in favor. Aye. 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 Good. Um, any old business that we need to touch up on? I have a couple of things. Okay. Uh, 
on the time of menstruation four. And I'm looking at this and I see 170K for the wood wood mill dam. Are we on our own with that? Probably. Who else is going to I'm um, just maybe there's yeah. like a, I don't know. I, I mean, uh, we can look at the um, the infrastructure money when that gets rolled out the next round. That, that, there might be something in there about that, but uh, I quote that the money can cover it. And so the my concern is that the, the sinkholes that are there now is a little more, right? Oh, sinkhole, right? At some point, those will become bigger. Ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and we risk the hazard of people fishing them because what people do, do get them there, and we also risk the uh, sinkhole will the material will become silt inside that. I I one hundred seventy k's a big nut. Yeah, we don't have cash so. First, I'd, I'm not sure I buy the 170k number since it took us nine months to get this report. Uh, so let's, let's take another look at it, prepare a construction spec. Report the town meeting. Um, absent, you know, some other source of funds being available. But I mean, my experience with this damn stuff is we can kick this down the road. This could more five time. years, it'll be, you know, I know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Could you use chapter 90 money for it? That's a good question. I, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to look into that. I think I've done that before. It doesn't mean it's approved. Yeah, you have chapter 90 or um, CPA. Yeah. It's restoration. I did. I have used the CPA argument before uh, with the historic dam replacement. What's, restoration. Which dam is this? The Wood River Yeah, it's a restoration project. In a public space where people walk and uh, enjoy the vistas and views. So, what's concerned me is this report didn't really mention anything about no, the it sinkhole set. So, it why do they think they are? So do they look at that? Or well, the report was dated, and who, oh. know, who knows when they did, but the report was dated based on an inspection, I think, like in the end of June. So, but we had had them before, yeah. So, they, yeah, the so then they probably didn't see them at the time that they were out there. That's been filled in before. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it was the time. I think it was before we started. Yeah, I don't remember that. So, yeah, it's not the first time this has happened. So, it's kind of nice to get an idea as to why. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't paid Taylor yet. Yeah. It's, it's taken us this long to get this. <laughs> I ask them to cut back out and incorporate this. Right. Yeah. Just like, might as well get somebody who's going to do it. Look at that. Power take out here. <laughs> well, it may, be with, it may be some other sort of grants out there, too, in the next few months. There's the Culver replacement, and there's the small bridge grant. So I don't Those know. are related. Yeah. 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 So we, I've dealt with this once before. and when we went after, we went after, I think, the small bridge grant to address the dam. And when we, after we did that, we put in our application and DOT promptly reclassified it as a culvert to disqualify us from the dam. Thanks, yeah. They made the mistake of including all their <laughs> deliberations in the document they sent back to me. Yeah. So we figured out what they were up to. So <laughs> yeah, we, we've, we've tried the small bridge grant before. I don't know if they class it all as a COVID replacement thing. But yeah, we can look at those things. Uh, and like I said, the next round of construction money might be something for that. It's yeah, that's true. To do that's not I, I figured we'd at least have our time to move, get us a spec so we get a better number. So I really want to address this sooner rather than. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure. If we don't have the cash to do this and the 170 is a valid number, then this is going to be a dead expense. Yeah, it might be 170, it might be more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're talking about the concrete work that has to be done to shore up what's wrong. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
something not right there with the center. I looked at them a couple of weeks ago and there is, is this kind of speed. You know, all that stuff's going into the that that may need to be ready. Is there an adequate area that we could is that they have cones up there now? They're cones. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of people went missing last week. And yeah, that's where they're looking into it. They're in the bottom. <laughs> we'll find them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. We'll make yeah. money out of it. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, all right. Anything else on this? Is that uh, is that conservation area all around that uh, pond there? Yeah. Is it flat then? Not really. No, it's pretty abrupt. Yeah. It, it may qualify for CPA. Well, that's what I'm that um, wondering if. Uh, yeah, I mean, if the historical commission will take a vote and say that's a historic you know, yeah. piece of land where that was built there, it's be restored. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we can replace dugouts down at larger baseball field, we should be able to replace a dam that serves as a walking area. Fish. Yeah, yeah, if it fails, it's going to be a massive problem with the dugout present if it fails. This is true. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. okay. We good? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, with that, we're going to close the public meeting and we will enter into executive session. Not. Is there a motion to close the public meeting? So moved. Second. Taylor? Aye. 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 Thanks, Jim. All right, folks. Happy New Year, John. Say goodbye. Yeah, happy New Year.